Hello there. If, if you had a good look at the copy uh, I put up, I'd like to talk to you about two things, strategy and tactics. Strategy is applied to all sorts of things in this business, uh, often very trivial. Uh, but the truth of the matter is that it's only relevant to things that are important. First of all, in your business, you have an objective. Uh, it may be that you wish to sell the business to somebody for a lot of money. It may be that you want to launch on the stock market. It may be that you want uh, something which will provide a, per a, a permanent income to you with a uh, relatively little effort because you'll never get it with no effort contrary to what a lot of the rogues who promote themselves on the internet will tell you um, but whatever your your objective may be you then need a strategy a strategy is is about how you achieve your objective and in the case of this copy uh, we're looking at people whose strategy uh, to achieve whatever their objective may be has been to copy uh, someone else. They're copying Groupon. So pff, pff, the question is, is that a good strategy? Uh, and the answer to that is, it probably is. There is no, uh, no fault whatsoever in copying somebody else. The fault lies if you don't improve on what they're doing. And as far as I can make out, uh, what these people are doing does not improve on what Groupon are doing. It starts, in fact, with the name itself, uh, Blue Mountain blah de blah um, Groupon, at the very least, does suggest something to do with coupons and something to do with groups. Blue Mountain, to me, suggests something to do with coffee. But that's not um, the main problem that I want to discuss when it comes to strategy. The, the strategy, followed by Groupon and by these people and by one or two others, is to sell discounted goods and services to people and make money from businesses who will pay them uh, because they think this is a good way of marketing. And discounts certainly work, but they can kill a business if you're not very, very careful. Uh, to be precise, they can kill it if you use them, but you don't offer a better product or service. Years ago, uh, when I was with Ogilvy and Mather, I went for a meeting in Kyoto, Japan, and one of the other people there was Lester Wonderman, the, the grand old man of direct marketing, the man who coined the phrase direct marketing, a very clever man. Uh, as usual, I was shooting my mouth off all the way through the meeting, uh, and Lester didn't say very much. I should explain that the meeting was of a committee formed by American Express, uh, which was a client that both Wonderman's agency and Ogilvy shared, and we were there to discuss their worldwide creative work. And one thing that Lester Wonderman said uh, towards the end of the meeting uh, struck me with the force of a thunderbolt, and I've never forgotten it. He said to uh, the marketing director, you are training your customers to expect bribes. And what he was saying is if you keep on offering discounts to people, uh, you're training them to, effect, to expect they'll always get discounts. They will never buy unless they get a discount. And I don't want to go into this at great length at the moment, but let me tell you that one thing I have discovered from study and research and not not, not my research, is that uh, consistent discounting can kill a brand because what it's saying to people is, look, our product isn't good enough or our service is not good enough to sell on its own merits. So discounting is a great way. Uh, this is my principle for what it's worth. It's a great way to acquire customers and it's a great way to reward customers but it won't work unless you do lots and lots of other stuff in the middle. Let me now uh, come to the copy. Have a look at the copy again, uh, and um, I'm gonna make some comments and, and, and you can see what I think. 
Um, okay, first of all, I've pointed out that um, the name is a bit silly, but what's interesting is, um, well, actually, funnily enough, when I was preparing this, um, I happened to see an email from Groupon which was promoting uh, a discount on the Moscow State Circus. And <laughs> when you go to a circus, you see things that seem almost impossible until people pull them off. Um, and I thought the copy that we've got here was almost impossible, in fact, completely impossible, uh, and they didn't pull it off. I was amazed at uh, the length to which the copywriter went to try and pull it off. You see, one of the things that uh, Groupon does not do well is their copy. Their copy is very, very affected and silly. They, they, they try to be clever. Uh, David Ogilvy uh, used to talk about uh, people skidding about helplessly on the slippery surface of irrelevant creative brilliance. Well, this sort of copy is not irrelevant creative brilliance. It's irrelevant creative rubbish. And I shall explain why. Um, let's go and have another look at it. Okay, before I go into the copy, look, the two things that you have to think about when you are um, trying to get people to pay attention, um, and that's what you have to do, is the picture, the visual, and the copy. Now, you've got a visual here of a grinning girl. This is a library picture I'm, I would swear it's not a good picture uh, it's better than no picture and it's better than no picture because having a person in an ad or uh, an email in this case a landing page whatever it may be is a good idea because people look at people but what is not a good idea is to use something that is obviously posed if you can use real people I promise you here and now that if you use real people rather than models uh, you will do considerably better. I would bet you would do about 20% better. Anyhow, the next point is that the very, the whole objective of this communication, which is to convey a huge saving, is thrown away. It's very, very important. When you look at copy, there is this moment of truth. You have to grab people at the start. Uh, there's an old rhyme that I often use, and I'm, I'm not ashamed of repeating it because I love it. Tell me quick and tell me true what your product's going to do, or my love to hell with you. A very old line from the 1930s. Well, the huge saving is thrown away. Let's, let's look at the copy here. Very recently, in a galaxy far, far away from all that stuff where Star Wars happened, a deal was discovered that allowed living social customers to harness, what do you mean living social? That's another subject, I don't want to go into it. Living social customers to harness a universal force known as web design prowess for only 49 pounds. Now, there is a phrase that we often use, I use it a great deal, abbreviated in uh, comments, WTF, what the, what are you on about? What are these people on about? L let's look at what, the, they're, they're trapped in this thing why they think Star Wars is relevant to this, I have no idea, but look what they're offering. 102 hours of saving. And all they can say uh, is a phrase. They say at the end that it can, will improve your powers of employability. Okay? Improve your powers of employability. Now, the reason they're using this, they've got to use this word, your powers of, because they're stuck with the stupid idea of linking all this to Star Wars. Frankly, I'm only surprised they didn't suggest that you could, be, you, be, you could become a web design Jedi. As a matter of fact, if they had said you could become a web design Jedi, they would have done much better. Why not say what's in it for the customer? Well, increase your powers of employability. Say what it is. Here's your chance to get a job for just £49. Do better in your own job. Save money for your firm. Don't get ripped off by web design people. This could pay for itself in less than one job that you do. One could go on forever. I could write, you know, a whole page about this. These people do not understand how you express a deal. You express a deal by stating it and restating it and expressing the saving. 
and explaining to people what you could do with the money you save. Look, this is a £333 value for 49 quid. What could you do with 112 quid or whatever it is you save? You could go out and have two bloody good meals, whatever. Uh, you could buy something else. You could go and have a, a weekend stay somewhere on a deal from one of these people. Yeah, Just, it, it really is a pathetic attempt uh, to sell something. There is no attempt to sell something. And look at what they offer. This package will not only teach you how to create your own website, but also advanced skills such as adding animated effects, media files and interactivity. The course syllabus features 16 modules, including Photoshop, Illustrator Essentials, InDesign, Flash Pro, Dreamweaver, Adobe software found in all top companies. It's a fantastic deal, but you would never know it. I should like such a deal. And then, of course, at the end, it, it descends once again into the dregs of copy. Uh, today's deal really is the daddy. Don't be the Obi-Wan to miss out. That's a play on only, only one. I didn't realise that until I'd read it several times. Um, it really is a shambles. And as I said when I promoted this little, little short webinar, um, it is a perfect example of how to screw up a very good business, a very good opportunity. How bad copy can ruin your business? It's, and just one last thought, they do not talk about the benefits apart from that vague mention of employability. I can tell you right now, with all the assurance born of God knows how many years in this business, that simply talking to people about, about what it can do for them rather than what it is, could make a phenomenal difference, make a phenomenal difference, probably double response on its own. I would, I would bet that if this were done properly, they could probably multiply their response by five, maybe more. Now, the only good thing about it, as far as I can make out, is enjoy by January the 13th, 2013. Huh? Not a good thing. What does that mean? Enjoy by... Th it means you can take the course by January the 13th. Yeah? It's not good. What they should have done, they should have made more uh, emphasis, put more emphasis on the, the close date. They should have had it flashing. That, again, would, would incre have increased response. <clears throat> Look, I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. There is a moment of truth in marketing and it's at that moment when your prospect either starts to pay attention and read or watch or listen or ignores you. That is all about copy. All about copy. It's the one thing, it doesn't cost you any more to run good copy than to run bad copy. And I'm going to now do a little pitch so you can switch off if you like, but I hope you'll keep listening. If you'd like your copy to improve, if you'd like 12 copy ideas, 12 copy ideas for your business, not somebody else's, the best deal you will ever get this year is to come and join me and Howie Jacobson at Southwark Cathedral. And you won't just get more ideas for copy. You will learn all about AdWords, which to my mind is the most significant development in marketing on the internet. Not just AdWords as it was, but AdWords as it is becoming, how it is changing every day. If you're not doing well in AdWords, well, you probably haven't been taking notice of these changes. And Howie, an author of AdWords for Dummies, is the person to tell you about it. I, honestly, the price is ludicrous. Um, you could buy a lunch for four at a modestly smart restaurant for the same price. Uh, but you could have something here which could change your business. It really could. Uh, just one thought for you. Now, you may have, have noticed that I've mentioned this particular event before. I haven't promoted it very much because I've been preoccupied with other things. Uh, but it's an astonishing opportunity. Um, there are 29 seats left. Uh, there are only 29 <laughs> seats left because I didn't promote it. Uh, there are quite a few. It's about two-thirds full, something like that. Now, a friend talks about a thing called the mantelpiece syndrome. Do you know what I mean? The mantelpiece syndrome. You either have a physical mantelpiece that you put invitations on and you look at them and say, oh, I must reply to that. 
Or you have a mental mantelpiece. You have something in your head that says, I must do something about that. For God's sake, don't let this opportunity sit on your mental mantelpiece. <laughs> mental mantelpiece. That's interesting, actually. Mental mantelpiece. Um, don't let it just sit there. Do something about it. You know, as you know, <laughs> as I keep on saying I'm very, very old. Well, and when I look back on my life, um, I have very few regrets about the things I've done, some of which have been very silly. But I have huge regrets about the things I haven't done. Don't just let this pass by. I won't be bringing Harry Jacobson over here. It cost me money. I won't be bringing him over here again in a hurry. So this is your one chance to see this man and myself helping you create stuff that will work for you and understand all about AdWords. The day is divided into two halves. You get both halves, one chiefly about AdWords and how they work, and the other chiefly about creating copy for your business. You will go away with ideas for your business, ideas that could transform your business, as they have so many others. Thanks for joining me.